Hey guys, in this class, we will talk about how to prepare a photo for mock-up. Okay, so uh, we will go through several stages. Like first, we will do sectioning and then we will do wrapping. And third, uh, we will give some shading and highlights. Okay, so let's start with the selection. Okay, so how we can make selection. So first of all, make sure you have uh, your copy okay so we will convert this picture into this okay so let me delete this okay oh. just so and yeah make sure you have a copy okay and so you can keep your original file and now I'm working on this new layer. And let me take a selection tool. So we have several selection tools here. Okay, you can see uh, we have lasso tool, magnetic lasso tool, and the polygonal lasso tool. And here also we have quick selection, magic wand. Okay, so let's start with the quick selection. And we are selecting whole dress. Okay, so. Uh, you can change the size using the bracket key. Okay. So just make a selection. And now you can refine this. Okay. So for refining, let me use a different tool. Okay. And let me remove this part. Okay. And yeah, make sure I'm um, using uh, this subtract option. Okay, we are removing some connections. Okay, and here. And now let's zoom in so I can see this part. And again, I'm using my last tool. Oh, I want to add this. So change your tool and add it. Now it looks fine. Let me zoom out a little bit. And now I'm happy with selection. I can just go to select, save selection. Okay. And make sure you are saving a new channel. This is my full bed. Okay. And now press Control J for copy and let me let me select this sleeve now. Okay, so this time I want to use this mask option for selection. So Make sure uh, you are doing work on layer one, okay? And in this, we don't have model, we just have our dress. Now click on this and take brush tool and make sure you are using hard round brush. And also, Make smoothing zero, flow 100, opacity 100, and make sure you have more normal, okay? Now, let's make selection. Suppose uh, now you are making selection and you selected this extra part, okay? In that case, you can just swap this color and you can erase it, okay? And again, you wanna select. Again, swap, make sure you have black. And now 
you can think inside if you want. So select the sleeve. And now it looks fine. We have some extra part, but uh, we will reuse our last tool and we can remove this, okay? Now it's fine. And whenever you are ready, just click on this again. And now we have our selection, but it's not uh, our sleeve rest area is selected so make it inverse select inverse and now our sleeve is selected and now take our lasso tool and refine this selection And whenever you are happy with your selection, go to select, save selection, and this time give name sleeve. Yeah. And click OK. And now let's copy. Okay. So control J. And you can see now we have new layer. Give a name sleeve. Now come to this layer, you see it, your full dress, and load your selection, okay? Select, load selection, and we wanna load sleeve, okay? And now, I wanna delete this, okay? So turn off your model so you can see it's deleted or not, and hit delete key. And also turn off this. So now you can see, on our full dress layer, we don't have sleeve, okay? And con uh, control V to deselect. And now let's select this top part, okay? So make sure you are here. Okay, let's give name this means our dress, okay? Now let's and this time I wanna use a different selection tool. Okay. Uh, let's try this magnetic lasso tool. Okay. And make sure you are on this layer. And let's make selection. So best thing about magnetic lasso, it follow our silhouette, but always take care like uh, after making selection, make sure you are closing the path, okay? Otherwise it will go for forever and it's really hard to handle this magnetic lasso, okay? So uh, let me show you. So suppose now I'm finishing this, okay? And now I can see how I have a small round. It means I'm closing the path, okay? So this is really important. Like whenever you use this magnetic lasso, close your path, okay? And now uh, you have your selection and you can see it's really good. Now we can again go to select. We can save our selection. It's top part. Click OK. And again, I want a copy of this. So Control J. Come to dress. Hide this layer and come to dress and load. 
from so we can delete it delete and control D to deselect now we have this bottom part and this front area okay so let's come to your dress layer and select bottom part okay again i wanna use magnetic lasso i really like it I'm gonna go inside and and now finishing. You can see I have a round shape. Okay, and. Now it's closed, okay. And if I want, I can remove this part, okay. So let me add this and let me remove this. Oh, I need this in here, and now let's remove this part and also a little bit this. And this is my bottom, okay? And I can save it, select, save selection, and this is bottom R, okay? And Control J for copy, turn it off, press, Load our selection, bottom part, click OK, and delete it. Okay. And Control D to deselect. And this is our, our front part. Okay. So let's select all. Let's try with quick selection, make it a little bit smaller, and hit select subject. Okay, maybe it will select really fast. Taking a little bit longer, but let's see. But yeah, I can see, I already selected this front, okay? And I can save this, select, save, and this is Control B, and I can, Rename it. It's a uh, it's front. Okay. So this is my front. This is bottom. This is top, and this is my sleeve. Okay. So now I have a bunch of selections and now I can apply my patterns, okay? So let's start with these. Let's zoom out a little bit so I can see. Now, make sure you are on sleeve layer. Take your bulky selection and make a rectangle. And now apply your pattern.
you can apply any version okay so let me try with this one and create clipping mask right click create clipping mask and right click convert to smart object and why we are converting uh, this pattern to smart object because uh like i have opportunity or i like, i can swap in my pattern whenever i want okay so that's why i am making smart object okay and now my sleeve is ready okay i can apply filter or i can move a little bit okay so make sure you are on your pattern fill one press ctrl d e. and now let's rotate a little bit okay and also you can use warp and you can warp your pattern okay Whenever you are happy, you can just check this. And also, if you want to move direction, you can apply liquify filter. And in liquify filter, you can uh, turn off and on uh, backdrop okay? and also make sure you are using this uh, first one okay forward warp tool and also make sure you have pressure really down it's 10 to 15 okay and let me make a little bit less and now I can work on it. And how, why I have pressure really low, like suppose I have 67, okay? In this case, I will apply liquify, it's distorting my pattern, okay? That's why I use really less pressure, control Z. And now let me apply liquify. Just quick. And also we have some wrinkles here. We can use this buffer, okay? And just a little bit, not too much. And here, let me move upward. Now, let's see. Okay. Yep, it looks fine. And now come to top. Again, make a marquee selection over here. And apply pattern. Okay, and get clipping mask and convert to smart object. Now press Ctrl D 
and rotate a little bit. And wow. And check OK. Now it's ready. If you want, you can apply liquify filter, but I'm not applying here. Now come to bottom and again, use your marquee selection and select bottom part and apply fashion. Okay. Right click, create clipping mask, and control P. Yeah, before that, let me convert it to smarter. Now control P and move it. And whenever you are happy, you can press check. And this time I want to use liquify. So let me turn on my model and go to liquify filter, liquify. A little bit smaller and And now let me come to front and this is the last part. We are playing with pattern. Okay, pattern, find pattern. Okay. Right click, a clipping mask, right click, convert to smart object. And now it looks fine. And now I want to load a full dress. Press A and I want a copy, control J, and let's move this copy to top. Okay, okay. yeah, it's here. And now we want to desaturate it image adjustment, desaturate. Uh, but still we have gray color it's not we we don't have white picture here so we need to make a little bit white but still we have some gray that is fine 
Eleventh and make it look like a bit white. Like, okay, and now apply multiply. So now it looks fine, but still we can add some shadow, we can add some highlights. So let's see how we can do this. Yes, so copy, copy. So one way like we can apply a different mode. Okay. Suppose I have multiply here for this layer, I can apply linear doors. And again, I can adjust my levels. Very good level. I don't know, really low. And okay. And for third layer, I can apply screen. And again, go to image adjustment levels. Okay. Mm -hmm. This. I don't want to make less output, not too much. Okay. So this is one way that we can add mid-tone. We can add light. Okay. And another way is, let me turn it off. And we have this layer and let's play with curves, okay? So curve. And if we move curve down, we can see the dark area. And if we move upward, we can see the light, okay? So let me move it down. Okay? Let me drag it here so you can see. And also I wanna I don't want to apply this to my model, okay? So make sure you uh, check here, okay? And now you can see this is affecting my dress, okay? Not a model. And now click on this and press Control i to invert this. And now let me take my brush and make sure you have opacity down. And now you can do some setting. Yeah, one thing I forgot, make sure you have white color here, okay? We are revealing the shadow, okay? So yeah, yeah now you can see it's working. And now I can Reduce the opacity. And this area. This area. And a little bit here. And whenever you are happy, you can just stop. And next, let me add. So this is candle layer. And let me make highlights. Oh, again, go. And this time, I want to drag it here. And again, click on this box and control I to invert. And make sure you have white here and you are using your hard round brush. And you can adjust your opacity, okay? Now I wanna highlight here, on this area, here, and not here. Okay. 
if you feel it's too much, you can do control C and you can reduce your capacity. I'm happy. And let me give a name. So this is the way we can uh, make uh, or we can split our uh, garment in different parts and we can apply a pattern. Okay. Now let's see how we can uh, strap a pattern. Okay. So uh, here you can see I have my pattern and I already uh, converted it into a smart object. So I need to just click here, okay? So double click and you will see something like this. And here you can give it your another pattern, okay? Suppose I wanna apply this one. Let me make still fifty percent. Click OK. And after this, you need to save it. Save. And let me see my file. Now you can see. My uh, sleeve is different, and now let me change the top. Okay, so click uh, the pattern fill two on this box, and double click, select this pattern, it's 50%. Okay and file, save, and then go to this. You can see I have it. Now go to bottom. So for bottom, I have this pattern here, pattern with three, double click, double click, and change. 50% click OK, file, save. And now I want to change this front part to so pattern pin four, double click. And double click fifty percent. A file save, and now let's see. So now you can see I have completely different pattern. Okay, and even you can close these. Else. I just did this one, okay? So yeah, it looks good, and I can save it. File, save as. This is my final two. Save. Save. Okay. And suppose you want to export it, okay? And you can do that too. Export, export edge. And you can export as a JPEG or if you don't want a background, uh, you can export in PNG. And make sure you have transparency on and export. Mm 
no, no, I can't close it. 